Hey guys, I'm Ryan Terpstra here on the west side of the state of Michigan, and next we go to the pool where we had the Division 1, 2, and 3 swimming finals. Some records were broken, some trophies were handed out, and let's see how it all went down. with the Division I Boys Swimming State Championship out at Saginaw Valley State University. And we start in the 100-yard butterfly. Cameron Craig of Monroe finished third in this event a year ago. And here, the sophomore edges out Gust Caveras of Brother Rice to get the victory. Craig was looking to win the 100-yard backstroke as well, but at the end, the talented junior, Jack Walsh of Detroit Catholic Central, gets to the wall first for the win. CC as a team finished in sixth place. With the combination of Andover and Lasser, Bloomfield Hills High School is now in Division I. This is senior John Schill getting the near two second win in the breaststroke and the Blackhawks got a fifth place finish. Livonia Stevenson looking to win its first ever boys swimming state championship and they were led by senior Nick Eric Kalian. Here winning the 200 IM by over a second. He also took the 500 free and the Spartans would end the day as runners up. And that was because the number one team in the state all year long got it done. Birmingham Brother Rice going for its first state title in seven years. This is senior Joe Kraus taking the 50 free. Then in the 200 free relay, it's a battle between Rice and Pioneer. At the top of your screen, the senior Bradfield Jones for the Warriors just beats out Daniel Wu. Then on the last race of the day, it's Kraus anchoring the final leg for Brother Rice and he cruises in for the four second win. It was all hugs for Birmingham Brother Rice as they end their seven year drought and capture the boys swimming state championship. We go to Eastern Michigan for the Division II Boys Swimming State Championship. Battle Creek Lakeview getting fired up for this one. Again with the exciting 50 free, it was a good one between Lakeland's Will Walker and North Farmington's Nick Lashock. Middle of the screen in lay five, it's the senior Walker just edging it out for the win. But Lashock will get a second chance in the 100 free. The senior just beating out Nathan Anderson of Seaholm and Nehemiah Mork of Midland Dow, and he is able to claim the 100 free crown. Next to the 200 free, this is senior Thomas Rathburn from Holland High School pulling away in the end. He wins by one second to capture his second straight 200 free title and he also took down the 500 as well. Exciting finish in the 100 breaststroke between Zhao Wang of Grand Ledge and Clark Lindsay of Birmingham Groves. It would be the senior Wang edging it out by 0.5 seconds. We move down to the 100 backstroke. Jason Wessling of Genesee finished third in this event a year ago. Here, the top of your screen, it's the senior Wessling getting to the wall first to capture the backstroke crown. Jenison as a team finished in fifth. Next to the butterfly, John Van of Battle Creek Lakeview looking to win this event for the second year in a row. And the junior would do just that. Winning by nearly a second, the Spartans would finish in fourth. But this day would belong to Birmingham Seaholm, number one in the state, going for its first state title in four years, the 200-yard medley relay, and it's the senior, Matt Parham, going in for the victory. Next to the 200 IM, Jack Russell finished eighth in the event at States last year, but in lane six, he edges out Robbie Zovchak of Dexter to capture his first individual crown. The Maples dominated the relays on this afternoon. 200 free relay, it's the junior, Enrique Hernandez, anchoring the leg for the one second win. Then on the final race of the day, the 400 free relay, it's Hernandez again, finishing it off for Seaholm with the four second win. Seaholm would go on to take the Division II state championship for the first time since 2010. <laughs> The 
Division Three swim finals took place at Holland Aquatic Center. Bloomfield Hills Cranbrook Kingswood trying to avenge a loss last year to East Grand Rapids. The battle for the top two team spots was between Cranbrook and Chelsea, and as expected, these two locked horns in every race. This is CK's Frankie Mizra getting an important win in the 200 IM relay to put CK ahead to start things off. Some West Michigan swimmers had a great showing. This is Holland Christian's Parker Cook Wieses in the 200 yard freestyle. He narrowly misses setting a new record en route to a first place finish. Next up was the 50 yard free where a record would be set or reset as it were as Milan's Oliver Smith who posted the new record in prelims beats his own time by four one hundredths of a second 20.78. That's his second straight state title. To the 100 yard butterfly, and this is an event that Hamilton's Alec Nybor has been dominating all year long. He came in as the favorite and held court the whole way for the individual crown. 100 yard freestyle, these speed races were close all day long. Atsigo's Alex Jurgens battling with Oliver Smith and the senior hits the wall a tenth of a second ahead of him to become Otsego's first state champion in 33 years. Now to the 100 yard backstroke, it's Detroit Country Day's Brendan Gatward battling maybe the best name in the field, that's Ionia Skyler Fish. Gatward holding him off to hit the wall and claim the backstroke title. Time for the 500 yard free and it's hard to win a marathon like this with a title already claimed in a 200 but Cook Wieses makes it look easy picking up his second individual championship in his home pool. Now to one of the most exciting finishes of the day St. Joseph, Chelsea and Cranbrook all locked in a 400 yard freestyle relay battle and St. Joe's is able to hold on for the win. The Bears finished in fourth place overall in the team standings. But the squad from Cranbrook Kingswood was just too strong. This is Mitch Buccalo holding off Chelsea's David Alde for the 200 IM win and CK betters their runner up finish from last year with a 2014 state title.